Hey, what's up, everyone? Well, tomorrow is the big day where Legend of Korra Book 4 premieres, and needless to say, I'm super stoked by it. Yeah, I, it's nice to know that there was not that much of a hiatus between Book 3 and Book 4, and uh, it's going to be interesting to, see, it's interesting to see what happens. Um, you know what? Even though I am excited about this, a part of me makes me feel sad because, um, you know, after this book, there's not going to be more, any more Korra. This is the last season, the last book. Whatever happens in these 13 a episodes is going to be it. There's it's definitely a, a sense of finality there. So, um, having said that, though, look, watching the trailer and that was just awesome. And I, one of the first things I got to talk about is Korra's haircut, which... Before the trailer, I gotta admit, I really didn't like it. But once I actually see her in action and that, and see her with the short hair and that, I think she looks awesome. So, I definitely think it's something that, uh, it's not gonna take that long to get used to. We're g I get a feeling fans, including myself, are gonna love short hair cord, much like we did Aang when he had hair in the headband, so. And, um, speaking of which, I should say that, um, Book 4 apparently takes place three years after the events of Book 3. So, um, and we get to see this by some of the more mature looks of most of the characters. Um, Asami has her hair pulled back. Bolin looks a little bit more mature than what he did. Mako's hair isn't as wild as what it is. And even Tenzin's kids, you see, uh, Janora with her hair growing back. And Iki with longer hair. And even, um... Milo, I was trying to think what his name was, Milo having hair, so I wonder what's up with that, but uh, needless to say, it's going to be a big change, which I know the last book was called Change, and this book's called Balance, but there seems to be a lot more change going along from, based on what I've seen on the trailer than um, what uh, book three offered, and it also, from the trailer, it looked like this one is is not going to be short of action whatsoever. And um, and another thing I want to say too is about the um, everybody talks about Kuvira and that her being the uh, the main villain in that, which it definitely looks like she is going to be the primary antagonist of it. But uh, I just get a feeling she's going to end up being a character much like Zaheer, where he kind of has a little bit of a symp sympathetic side to it. Well, I'm hoping that's the case in that, but uh, I'm kind of hoping that Kavira isn't the only villain in you. Know, I hope there's at least one more, you know, to give make things a little bit more interesting in that. But, um, oh, and um, Bolin, you could see him lava bend again, uh, like, he did, like his newfound ability at the end of last book in that, which is pretty cool, which uh, I, I do have to say that it's awesome that Bolin... Lava bends, but I'm kind of hoping that further down the road we find out that he is able to metal bend after all. Because to me, it would kind of suck if he wasn't able to metal bend, but he could lava bend. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't get bothered by that too much, but uh, uh, I know Bolin really wants to metal bend after uh, hearing about Toph and that. Uh, which, speaking of which, oh my gosh, whenever I, the final few seconds of that trailer, my mind just blew, because, <laughs> of, um, Cora is saying that it can't be true, and then, and then she goes, Toph, and then, um, it's, uh, needless to say, Toph Beifong is my favorite character from the first series and that, and I really, really hope that is not a tease on Blake's part. And them not end up showing her after all. If that's the case, I'm going to be pretty upset because, oh, I want to see Toph so bad. Um, after all, we got to see Aang, Sokka, Katara, and Zuko. The only one we really, really haven't seen yet is Toph. Which, we haven't seen Suki either, but um, to be honest with you, I never really considered her part of Team Avatar, even though technically she is, so... I could, I could, to me, I could care less whether or not I see Suki or not, but, uh, but Toph, I, I really, really hope we get to see Toph in this new book and that, and, uh, it, it, it's just gonna be awesome. It, it would be so awesome seeing, uh, Korra and her crew and the old Team Avatar team up and fight whatever the big threat is gonna be in book four, because I, I think that's gonna be just awesome. 
And, um, and another thing I noticed, too, about the trailer and that was, uh, the one scene in particular where it shows Cora with long hair and then it, ch it takes her to a shot with short hair and it shows, like, almost as if the spirit world was zipping right by her. And that got to me, and that has me thinking, you know, what if there is a way that she could connect with her past lives and that, which I'm still held, holding out hope on that, that she's able to reconnect with Aang and Roku and Kyoshi and all those past avatars, because it just seems kind of weird that she uh, has lost her ability to connect with all of them. And I shouldn't be too disappointed if she ends up not, but I think I think part what makes part of Korra is her connection to the spirit world and also her... Uh, connection with the past lives, lives of being the Avatar, so, um, I think it'd be kind of like a bummer if she wasn't able to reconnect with them, but at the same time, though, we got to see how strong Korra it was on the book three finale of all the, when she was in the Avatar state having all that power, and you have to consider, she's the second first Avatar, so that's just her power, she doesn't have any other power to drop past other from from her own, and to be able to give Sahir that kind of fight, while at the same time being poisoned by that liquid uh, that liquid metal, it shows you just how strong of a character Korra really is. And um, but yeah, based on the trailer, and it looks like it's gonna be pretty much what we saw from Book Three. But hopefully, we get to see some new things, see new characters, um, better character development. Which the character development on the Book 3 was just fantastic. You know, it definitely felt like I was watching an Avatar the Last Airbender season. And, um... But yeah, I am really excited about uh, tomorrow's premiere and that. And, uh... I really hope that Korra fans, including myself, really uh, appreciate what uh, is in store. Which, uh... I do have to say this, that uh, I know there was an exclusive clip of the opening sequence of the uh, first episode. But I, I didn't even bother watching it. I figured, you know, why watch a piece of episode one and get teased and all that even more and one and anticipate even more when I, when I can just watch it all at once. So um, I really can't tell you about the opening sequence. I'm just going to wait until tomorrow to watch it. But um, but yeah, I am like super stoked about this. And um, But yeah, it should be a really good um, um, book. And I think... Uh, if it's anything like Avatar or Last Airbender, there's going to be a fitting finale, hopefully, that uh, Korra's uh, story will be told, and there will be finality there, and everybody will get to live the lives that they want. And most important of all, Korra will be the Avatar that not only she wants to be, but the world wants her to be, So, uh, and what the world needs her to be. So, uh, But yeah, um, yeah, it's going to be 13 episodes long, that, uh, this book is going to be, and... Um, I I just can't wait. Uh, I know I'm keep on babbling on and on, and, but, but uh, it, it should be really excited. And uh, believe you me, I'm gonna be tuning in uh, and watching it online when as soon as I get off of work and then see what happens on there. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna disappoint not only myself but uh, Cora fans and that. So. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I figured I'd give my two cents in not only what I thought of the trailer. But what I anticipate will happen, which I really didn't say what my thought thoughts were, but uh, at this point, I really don't care what happens because I know Break is going to make it work in the end. I'm going to enjoy these final 13 episodes of the Korra series because uh, I, I'm just, I, I just love the show so much. And uh, like I said before, it's going to be a little bit sad to see it end, but at the same time, though, it's like the saying goes, all good things must come to an end, so... Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it I have to say about this one. So, um, thank you for watching, or should I say listening, since there's not really much to watch other than this, uh, screen here saying Legend of Korra, but, <laughs> but anyways, I appreciate you listening to me if you click on this video and that, and, um, hopefully the se season premiere will be as awesome as what it was last year, and, uh, can't wait to see what happens. So, um, thank you for listening to me, and I will catch you again next time.